Today I'm showing you six tools that will make your terminal go from something that looks like this to something pretty cool that looks more like this. All the steps I'm about to show you will work on both Mac and Linux and I honestly do not know about Windows. I haven't used it in 10 years. I'm sure there's cool alternatives for Windows. I just don't know. And if you're a Windows user, I'm sorry. I hope we can still be friends. Otherwise, this is gonna be awesome. Let's dive in. First things first, we'll drop the default terminal app for something cutting edge. My current favorite terminal is Ghosty. It's an open source terminal emulator written in Zig and the front end is written in Swift. So you get that native feel to it if you're a Mac, you know, with quick look and force touch. Uh, it's really lovely. Let's open up the website here and we'll click the download button. And for macOS, we use the universal binary. So because it's written in Swift, we have to download this binary only once. After that, we can just use the auto update. So I downloaded this, then I move it to my applications. Now we have Ghosty here. Cool, great start. Um, one thing that's really cool about Ghosty is it comes with tons and tons of themes. And we're gonna be doing Ghosty plus list themes. And look at this, we can go through all these themes. If I zoom out a bit, you can see the, uh, the shell. I personally love Rose Pine. So if I search for Rose Pine, you can see Rose Pine here, Dawn, Moon. Uh, I didn't wanna blind you there, sorry. So I'm gonna go for Rose Pine. If I click enter, you'll see theme equals Rose Pine. So then we will go to our ghosty settings, scroll all the way down and set theme Rose Pine. Okay, and then after we go back to ghosty, and we can say reload configuration. So that will set this theme. Before we continue to the next item, there's one downside I wanna mention, and that is as of now, Ghosty does not have a built-in search function. This is fine if you use a terminal multiplexer like Tmux, but if you don't, it might be confusing. There is a workaround currently, which is if you press Command Shift J, it, there's a file which will have the current output. So, you know, you could open this, let's say Vim, and you see this has, this has my output. So I could search this. There's an open issue right now here. And the author Mitchell Hashimoto, I think is his name, freaking legend. If you're watching this, I'm a fan. He wrote this issue two years ago and it's got a thousand upvotes. So I think it will come at some point, but they haven't gotten around to it yet. So. If, if search is crucial for you, then iTerm or Westerm or Kitty or whatever, these are options that you can consider. Let's continue with two. Get rid of that annoying last login message, this thing here, okay? Every time I open up a shell, it's gonna say last login. I open shells all the time, so I don't wanna, I don't need to see this last login every single time. We can actually get rid of it forever with a simple single command. That's touch hush login. This will basically shh the login. And once this is created, you'll see I open new tabs, it's gone. Okay, small improvement, small quality of life improvement, but it's there. So we've done this, great. All right, number three, oh my Z shell. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Oh my Z shell, I'm just gonna pronounce it that way, is a framework for managing uh, Z shell configurations. So it helps you add plugins, themes, and just makes it easier to get a nice shell. So let's go ahead and open up that website too. We're gonna do something totally safe and we're gonna paste a command from the internet into our terminal, totally safe. Ghosty, paste, it's gonna clone it. And there we go, it already looks much better. Let me open a new shell. Look at this, beautiful. You know, if I go into some code and let me say, I think PMPM workspaces, here we go, git main, git integration out of the box. Like that's cool. This is a cool theme and I'm probably gonna keep this for now, but you could browse the teams directory. So let me open up this thing again here on, look at all these plugins, by the way. Sheesh, git, Laravel, Docker, like what more do you want? 
Anyway, so if I go to the docs, they have this themes section here. And you can scroll through themes and like there will be one for sure that you like. Um, I actually love this thing called Mr. Taz. Yeah, actually, let me install that one. Why not? Mr. Taz. Okay, I'm going to open up this Z shell RC file. And under themes, you'll see Robbie Russell here. This is the default theme. And we're going to just change it to Mr. Taz. Okay, save, quit, new tab. Look at this, Mac. All right, CD code, PMPM workspaces. Look at this, cool. PMPM workspace, the branch, right? I touch a file. It has an indicator that there's a, a status. I'll leave it. Lovely. Okay. Step number three, syntax highlighting. When's the last time you seriously wrote code without any syntax highlighting? Never, not voluntarily. The next plugin highlights commands in your shell. If they exist in your path, they'll become green. And if not, they are red. Right now, you can see here, touch and RM, they're, they're all, they don't have any colors. But if I did something like touch, okay, I get command not found. Wouldn't it be nice if we just had syntax highlighting. And that's exactly what this next thing is going to do. So I'm gonna open up this plugin and I'll link all these in the description, by the way, not to worry. Z shell syntax highlighting and under the installation instructions, we're gonna follow, we're not gonna use the homebrew one actually. We're gonna follow the, um, oh my Z shell, this one. So we're gonna follow these instructions Copy this URL, open up Ghosty. Let's go to the root, space is in, cloning. Okay, we of course also have to enable this plugin. So, nvim c c rc, and under plugins, there's now git. We're gonna add this one, c shell syntax highlighting, boom. Save, quit. Okay, that's we can just source this as well instead of opening a new tab. Now if I say touch, green, lovely. Okay, what was it? We know it's not a valid command. This is this is awesome. Huge upgrade in my opinion. Git works, lit doesn't work. Okay, but now our terminal is lit. I would say number five, Z shell auto suggestions. I just like syntax highlighting. It's really convenient to get suggestions while you're coding, right? Like, wouldn't it be nice if we also got that in our terminal? Well, this is where the auto suggest plugin comes in. It will suggest commands based on first your history and then second, whatever the tab completion would give you. So let's go and install this bad boy back in GitHub. Once again, there is these installation instructions and Here's oh my Z shell, another git clone command. And then I'm going to open the C shell RC file. I'll go to plugins and I'm adding C shell auto suggestions. Okay, source, uh, there we go, it's sourced. Okay, now if I type N, I'm pretty sure it's gonna, here we go, it suggests N Z shell RC because this is for my history. If I do, you know, P, it will say PWD print work directory. This is one of my favorite plugins. So it already looks much better. I, I never get this weird command not found because before I press enter, I already know whether the command is going to be found or not. Six, last but not least, and I don't even know how to pronounce this. Zoxide, Zoxide, Zoxide. It's a smarter CD command. So instead of using CD to navigate to your directories, as you have probably been doing forever, Zoxid, Z for short, it's like map to Z, easier to type than Zoxid, allows you to just write a short version of that path. Let me open this thing, Zoxid, and here's the installation instructions. Mac OS. Okay, we have Homebrew. This one we will install with Homebrew, by the way. All the other ones went through Oh My Z Shell. This is like, this is a quality of life improvement, not necessarily related to Z Shell. It's just like 
an improvement. So I'm going to paste in Zoxid. I'm going to get this warning because I already have it installed secretly. And then there's this command you can run for Z shell here. You just add this at the end of your C shell. So I hadn't done that. So I'm going to open up this thing, go to the end, paste this thing in and save source. Oh, syntax highlighting, dude, isn't, isn't that sick? So now instead of CD, I'm going to use Z, right? And I have this super far path. So I have, what is it? Desktop, super long path. Whoa, like this is a long path. So now that I went to it once, I can just say Z, whoa, and it will take me to this directory. Wyo, Wyo, that's it. I, I I'll link all these things below with all these steps, following all these steps, your terminal should now look much better. Before it looked kind of mid and now it looks great. You know, if you go work from a cafe, people will be like, damn, how, how'd you get your shell to look like that? You can show my video or just say, something else that's cool I, I hope this was useful to you if it was it would be cool if you subscribed liked maybe share with a friend or two um yeah be, be cool if you did but if not no hard feelings later